Ugh, this has just been the worst day ever. Oh, hi friends, my name's Lizzie, and I've been having a really rough day. <laughs> the sky is blue, and God loves you, and that's all fun. Oh, hi Miss Lizzie. Oh, I thought I heard you out here. Well, how's it going? Not good. What? Guys, this is my friend Tucker the turtle. Oh. Oh, oh, hi everyone. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are here. But, Miss Lizzie, well, what's going on? I've just been having a really rough day. Oh, well, do you want to talk about it? What happened? Well, first we're supposed to go to the park this morning, but do you see outside? Oh, yeah, it is a little soggy outside, isn't it? That's right, so we couldn't play outside. Oh. Then my friend was sick and couldn't play with me. Oh, that's no fun either. Yeah. But, and then for lunch, we were supposed to have mac and cheese, uh, ooh. but we're all out. Uh, See? Oh, no. No mac and cheese. No. Yeah. Now, that is a little disappointing, isn't it, Miss Lizzie? But yeah. you know what? It kind of sounds like someone needs the gratitude goggles. The what? The gratitude goggles. You know, whenever I'm in a stinky mood or having a bad day, I put them on and they help me change the way I see things. Wow, it sounds like I need those. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd be happy to let you borrow them. Oh, here, give me a second. Where are they? Somewhere around here. Oh, there they are. Oh, ta-da! Wow, Tucker, these are amazing. They really help me change the way I see things. Because even though the rain made it so we couldn't play outside, uh -huh. uh, the flowers grow. And I love flowers. Uh, me too. And even though my friend was sick, yeah. It gives me the chance to make her a card or soup. Oh, that's a good idea. And even though, like, I couldn't have mac and cheese for lunch, yeah. I can have peanut butter and jelly, and peanut butter and jelly is good. Peanut butter and jelly is good. And even though I, and I, at least I got lunch. Oh, that's true. Hey, these are awesome, Tucker. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, you know, those goggles are pretty cool and very stylish, but do you know who really helps change the way you see things? Who? Oh, God! You know, our Bible story is about how God helped someone change the way they saw things without special goggles. Wow! I can't wait to hear it, kids. Put on your listening ears. It's coming up next. Hey, Tucker, oh, want to yeah. help me deliver my friend, my card to my friend? Oh, I'd love to. Oh, can I draw my own card? Sure. Oh, goody. Oh, I'll go get my crayons. Oh, bye, kids. Bye. Hello boys and girls, my name is Miss Carla and I've got a great story to tell you today. It comes from this book. What's this book called? The Bible! That's right, it's the Bible. And you know that if it's in the Bible that it is? True! True! Awesome job. Now our true story today starts with a man named Cornelius. Cornelius was a commander in the Roman army. But unlike other Roman soldiers, Cornelius loved God and he worshipped him. One day, God told Cornelius to bring Peter to his house. Do you guys remember who Peter was? A disciple. That's right. He was a disciple or a friend of Jesus. Cornelius sent some of his guards to find Peter. They had to travel a little ways to find him. So let's pretend to walk and find Peter. You guys ready? Let's march. Good job, everybody. Look for Peter. <gasps> Do you see him anywhere? <gasps> there he is. Everyone say, hey, Peter, come with me. Hey, hey, Peter, Peter come, come with, with me. me. Good job. Peter wasn't sure why Roman soldiers were asking him to go to their commander's house. He thought they were very different from him by the way they acted and even the way that they ate. But God told Peter to go. And if God told Peter to go, should he go? Absolutely, yes. So Peter went to Cornelius' house. Let's all walk back again. Ready? Here we go. Whew, finally, they made it. That's a lot of walking. But we can go here, there, and everywhere to follow Jesus, right? Right. Now, when Peter entered the house, Cornelius was so happy to see him. Can you guys show me your happy face? Great jobs. He told Peter that God had told him to bring Peter to his home. And there, Peter was able to tell many people about Jesus and how they could follow him too. God helped Peter see Cornelius differently. God can change the way we see others too. Sometimes someone might look different to us or maybe they seem like they won't be very nice or they do things differently than we do. But God wants us to love everyone because he loves everyone. 
We can trust that God will help us love others, even people who are different than us, because Jesus wants to be everyone's friend forever. Who can we trust to be our friend forever? I can trust trust Jesus to be my friend forever. Good job, guys. Let's clap our hands and pray. Dear God, thank you for this true story from the Bible. Help us to see other people the way you see them, with your eyes. Help us to love everyone, everywhere, just like Jesus did. We love you, God. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen. Thanks for your time today, friends. We'll see you next week. Bye. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. Hebrews 11.1 1. I'm gonna share your love with the world. Ready, set, move.